Greetings. Today I'd like to do a quick little first look and listen at the new Shure Uniplex series of microphone lavaliers. They uh, have just been released. They are the third uh, microphone or lavalier in their Plex line of lavaliers. The Plex refers to the cable, um, which they spent a bunch of time developing initially for the what they call the twin Plex, which is what you're listening to right now. This is a TL48, and that's the one with the fixed capsule that's got a little bit of a baked-in presence boost for speech-optimized applications. The Twinplex is their flagship, and despite this mic being in camera, it's not actually active at the moment. The Twinplex was then followed by the Duraplex, and the Dura as in durability, it's got IP rating, useful for things like, you know, e or sports or reality or whatever, where you might have somebody end up falling in water or otherwise getting submerged, you know, pair that up with uh, Q5X Aqua transmitter, for example. And then now they've just released the Uniplex and the Uni uh, and refers to unidirectional. It's got a cardioid pickup pattern, whereas the Twinplex and the Duraplex are omnidirectional pickup patterns. I've been using uh, the Twinplex as my main labs for a while now. Again, specifically the TL48. Uh, I also have a couple of their TH53 head-worn units, and I've been pretty happy with them. I don't particularly have a use case for the Duraplex, so I've never purchased or tried them, but uh, with these new Uniplexes that just came out, the cardioid pickup could be useful, right? Generally speaking, people consider Omni to be the preference for lavaliers. It gives a more natural sound. But if you've got people who are speaking close together, especially if you don't have an auto mixer like a Dugan or something to help uh, control the bleed, or you know, if you're in big open you know, spaces, so boardroom for corporate or, you know, whatever. You know, you can pick up a lot of room noise in the kit, so cardioid hopefully helps with that a bit as well, right? So I ordered one of these Uniplexes to test, and we'll go ahead and open it up. I slit the, the, the ceiling tape just to make this a little quicker. You get an instruction manual, or a quick start guide, rather. You get, you know, this is warranty or not sure, but it's the legalese thing. And then here is the mic in a little circular carrying case. One thing is you definitely do not get all of the accessories that you get in Twinplex case. And unzip this. And so inside we've got the mic over here and accessories wise, we get a cap, a tie clip, and that's it. And then for the mic, it's all curled up here. Get the sun done. And I should state, I am using, in this case, these are both the Limo 3 variant. The reason I say that is because with Limo, you get a little bit of difference in terms of sensitivity than you do with the TA4 variant. I am running these through ADX1 uh, body packs. And because this room has so much ambient noise in it, uh, I am running this through a Cedar DNS AD. Uh, and then from that, it goes into um, 
the sound device of Scorpio over Dante for uh, the actual recording. And I say that because what I also intend to do is uh, take this to one of the shared rooms in this building, which would be more comparable to, you know, if you were doing a corporate boardroom type presentation or something. And we'll get some audio samples down there as well, because it's not necessarily fair to try to do a sound test when you have this much background noise that you have to run it through a noise suppression system. So a, a cap, which I'll put on because I've also got the cap on this one, just snaps in place. It's foam on the top. And then uh, let's see, does this rotate? Yeah, that rotates. Okay, so if we snap this into the mount. So this is a little bit different than the mount that comes with the Twinplex because that one is, you know, they, the, the piece that holds the mic pops out and can be replaced. And with this one, that's not the case, but we'll rotate it around and I will clip it approximately same distance from my mouth. Still a little high. So there, now they should be about the same. And we're going to plug this in to the transmitter if I can get the red dot lined up. And then screw this on. And then turn the transmitter on. And so now we can go back and forth. Uh, I will in post, you know, both mics are recording simultaneously and I will switch these back and forth a bit in post and I will leave a note down in the lower left corner as to which is which. But right now uh, these are both going through the cedar and this is what they sound like. And then if I unlock this computer, then I can come over and I will turn off the cedar. And so now you are hearing the raw feed from both of these. Uh, I will also note, note that um, the gain on these is on the two transmitters is basically the same. If you're not aware, familiar with um, Axiom Digital Gain, right? The transmitters trans, um, don't have gain set on the transmitters themselves because they basically can send um, more dynamic range than any mic it can generate. And then you adjust the gain on the receiver. And if I look, the gain on these is set at uh, plus 28 dB. Uh, I apologize for looking at the monitor. So this is, again, we've been listening to it with uh, DNS turned off, and I'm going to turn the DNS back on such that uh, this should be a much cleaner signal now. So uh, I'm going to halt this here and then see about getting downstairs to try this in a big public space that doesn't have all the ambient noise. All right, so now I'm down in one of the building's public spaces. This is a rec room that gets used for a number of different purposes. It can be meetings, it can be small entertainment, whatever, right? It is probably 30 feet wide and maybe 50 feet long, has absolutely no sound treatment of any sort in it. There is a refrigerator in the far back corner that I can hear. I don't know if the mics will pick it up or not, but it's there. There is no noise suppression or anything being applied to this. We have the 
Twinplex, the TL48 on my left, your right. And we have the new Uniplex UL4 on my right, your left. In this case, uh, I did not bring the wireless down here. So I have these, these are using the uh, Shure um, Limo 3 to XLR preamps, the NPM 400 Limo 3 or something like that. I forget the exact model number. Um, <clears throat> they are using uh, Mogami Gold Stage 20 foot XLRs to go to the preamps in the Scorpio. And as this before, I will flip this recording back and forth between the Omni pickup of the TL48 and the cardioid pickup of the UL4. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments down below. Thank you.